I think that is a that good was moment. Great job. To end my session and give it all the way over to you. Finally. Okay. The reins. All right. <clears throat> Even though I need a new coffee. Can you play the opening of the last game uh, when I get a coffee? Yes. Yeah. What was the opening of the last breaks. game again? Whatever you want. <laughs> the opening oh, of you the We're done and then just when you thought you were out, I pull you back in. Mm. So annoying. I don't like to get pulled back in when I'm finally out. Uh, so, Jan wants me to play opening of last game, but I don't know what it is. I think it's time for the grow up. Or ask Sokolov, nothing ever tells at him in Vike, Mr. Dodgy says. I think Mr. Sokolov will live for a thousand years to come. Yeah, this opening is really bad, but um, I think Jan will make something from it when he has his coffee back. And he's back. Yeah, I will play the Dutch defense uh, when I get the chance in my next session. Sounds like a good idea. Well, at least playing this opening got um the opponent kind of out of book because he's spending a lot of time Carnicero making a very valid statement that this will teach you not to pull me back in again exactly once i'm out i want to stay out Maybe Jan is never returning, that could also be, and he's leaving me with this disgusting position. Although I hear footsteps on the way, so maybe he is returning to salvage this game. Alright. Alright. I think you can take it from here, the plan was d uh, takes What's the pawn doing on g4? The plan was knight d2 in this position. Wow. Bishop takes d4, what was the plan then? He doesn't see that move, I'll get my... Phone <laughs> and my adapter, and I'll see you around. Yeah, thanks, Lord Jorn. Get I some rest. I leave my. Enjoy the naked people. Yes, my no gut here. I might eat your nougat. Okay. You're trying to do that. Mm, for sure. All right. What mess has he left me with here? Gotta take the pawn. That's all I know. <clears throat> Materialist. How are we doing schedule-wise? Ah, we we almost made it to the one third mark. <clears throat> Queen C seven. That looks very slow. I thought he would go c5 and try to undermine my construction. Can't quite make it work yet. That's sad. Hmm. Alright. Get some pieces out. I want to go queen somewhere along castles and then g5. I hope he won't do anything to bother me along the way. Hmm. Hmm. What could he do? E5, but it looks wrong. D5 is probably good for me. No, maybe it's a good position. How did Jordan do this? I played one G4. That's friendly. Just like I say, Jan's eating Jordan's nougat. This nougat, sickos. B6, can I jump? Probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Nah, I'll stick to the plan. Nah. 
now the time has come. I finally defended my rook on h1. So I can advance this pawn. And materialist, as a materialist, you should be somewhat concerned about the material balance here. Because this bishop might have seen better days. I think there is no salvation for poor Mr. Bishop and materialist. He's desperately looking for a way out, just like Jorn, who's trying to find the door, but he's not going to be able to do it. Also, last night I think there was some incident that Jorn couldn't remember what room he was staying in, so there's been troubles, but I do hope that now he will find the way home safely to Bielefeld Hotel. Mm. Please don't discover me. I think that's a fair request given the number of viewers that it's not gonna happen. Um, and if knight c5, just queen g7, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything too scary coming from materialist. I'm a bit of a materialist too, but queen g7 would allow queen f4 check, which probably does not do me any good in the grand scheme of grabbing material. So I'll keep it boring by putting the queen to the center of the board. Doesn't look good, materialist. Sorry. Let's see if Luke is awake. I'm alone for one minute. And I already feel like, ugh, can't take this much longer. Queen d7, hoping for trickery along the d-file. So, let's politely remind him that the D file is shared property. I have some rights too. And after rook D1, materialist does resign. Thanks for the game, Mr. Materialist. I like saying materialist, I wonder why. It's time to tackle Mr. Cicero 28. Cicero. Mm, I think G6 is the only language this guy understands. G6 and maybe English. Not sure what happens here. I have this position in bullet quite a bit. Normally they play D4, but not Cicero. He goes E4 and I will pretend to be a deep student of the great Michal Botvinnik and play the, I think they call this the Botvinnik setup, c5, d6, knight g7, short castles, and then hope for something good to happen. a4. Do you play f5 here or should I carefully prepare it? Nah, let's do it. 
I'm a bit concerned about queen b3 check, king h8, knight g5, but just a bit. Hmm. So let me think this through. Check. I should go king h8. He jumps. He wants to give a check. I should probably play queen e8, but then knight e6. I still have queen f7, yeah? Pinning the knight. So, what else could there be? Knight b5 could be a problem. Actually, there are many problems. Now that I think about it, I am regretting many of my life choices. He starts with knight g5. He's hoping to trick me with queen b3 next move. But, sometimes the tricky, the tricker becomes the tricky, the tricked. I'm gonna fall for your trick, sir. Now, think about it. Queen b3. Oh, there's c4. Oh, there's d5. What have I gotten myself into? Generally, my opponent is queen b3. I want to go d5. And if e takes d, I have knight a5. Swish and zook. Attacking the queen and the knight here. I haven't thought any further. Mm hmm. Still a mess after ed, knight a5, queen somewhere, take the knight, there's b4. Who knows who's better and why, but we'll find out. Mm. Mm. I also got d6 check, also a fair point. Mm. Can't get away with this. Kind of unlikely. Nah, I have to take with a heavy heart. Cicero's thinking which one of my horses he wants. He can go b4 or he can go d6. Or door number three, bishop takes g5. So many choices, so little time. Hmm. <clears throat> I have a feeling bishop takes g5 might be the best, threatening both d6 and b4. So if he starts with b4, I can probably do something, I don't know what, but something. Takes an e4 maybe. Probably not takes an e4. He does go b4, okay. And then I should take once to open this diagonal. And I should probably get my king out of the way. King h7, b a, and then the question is do I go e4 or f4 or none of the above? Huh. So complicated. Alright, let's start with this. I think I want to go f4 just to scare him with the threat of f4 f3 especially e4 but then some of like oh he takes now we should start with f4 he's full of surprises this guy cicero f4 or e4 the eternal question shut up phone Hmm. You must think. All right. The problem is that this rook is not that big of a price. I'm good. I would give up my strong fear cat of bishop. He doesn't want me to take it though, which is good news because now I'll take this, and this should, I think, solve most of my problems. Because the queen is hanging, and if he goes queen d5 followed by ba5, which he probably has to. Then my pieces start becoming active and jumpy. And yeah, this is a good position for me now. Or good is maybe too strong, but playable position for me now. Well, before I had my doubts, let's say. Hmm, still, what to do next? I could take this pawn, but who cares about that pawn? Nah, gotta develop some pieces. I'm 
trying to count the pawns. My first hunch is their number of pawns is roughly equal. But I'm gonna try to get a more precise head count as we proceed. Now my hunch is the number of pawns might be turning slightly in his favor. But I'm hoping there will be other factors that will compensate for me falling behind in the pawn head count. I want to go rook c5. I missed bishop e7, of course. But I might still do it. Nah, I might not. Not gonna be able to do it. He's full of surprises, that guy. I don't see a single move of his coming. Hmm. Time to throw some more paints, some more pawns, into the fire. I might be running out of pawns to sacrifice. But as long as I get my wish and have one of them as the lone survivor on f3, it's all good. Let's check my turn, no? Hmm. Not sure I should do it immediately, but yeah. Probably no reason to wait. <laughs> I need some file for my rook, but it's not easy to detect any file. Hmm. So, I will try to keep my e-pawn alive. I know I said I don't care about any of my pawns, but the e-pawn is the heir to the f-pawn. So, I'll make an exception for him. <clears throat> Just sidestepping, honey. Knight jumps to c7 or d6. f3... I still need to deliver. Le coup de grâce. Not there yet, but step by step. Bishop d7 blitzed out. All right. Hmm. Rook d8 or bishop e4? Maybe bishop e4. Oh, pre move. That's a risky pre move. A tough fight against Cicero. Thanks for the game, Mr. Cicero. Mousy line. Mousy line just woke up. And wants to get some morning action. Been there. Queen c2. Can you do that? I'm gonna try to hit that queen where it hurts. The wallet. Okay, I lied. I think I once saw some weird line, some e3, let's say. Maybe knight to b4, queen b3, bishop f5, queen takes b4, e5. Does that make any sense? Doesn't look like it makes any sense. Queen b7 and I'm just down a lot of material. But I'll keep the theme in mind. Hmm. 
Mausilein. Und du musst nicht traurig sein. Night C3. You know how I feel about pawns. Even though this is a tough one to grab, I guess. Nah, I'll let it. Let it slide. With a very heavy heart, but DC E4 just didn't feel right. Some of my moves don't combine very well, which could be a problem <laughs> in the long term. This knight on a6 now looks slightly out of place, since it didn't cause any immediate discomfort. Alright, it's time to ask Her Majesty, Quo Vadis. C5, so classical. Give me that rook. I guess rook to a4. Happened. Can I go knight c2? Might. There might be no coming back from that adventure, so I should probably play the more sober knight d3 check. Knight c2, king d2, I think my knight just gets stuck. He goes g4, chasing the bishop. Can't really do it. Well, this position, I'm not sure, could also be bad for me. For example, after king d2, bishop a6, I'm somewhat concerned about rook takes a6. Or rook a1, followed by rook takes a6. So I believe I should go here instead, but could be a little unpleasant. Could be a little unpleasant. My Jerry Seinfeld voice, not very good. Hmm. Very important in all these structures not to allow b4, b5 undermining my structure. So if he goes rook a1 here, b5 would be a threat again. But now I'm in time to move my rook somewhere, c8, t8, e8, wherever. And then it's hard for black, for white to make progress on the queen side. Generally you want to go knight d2, knight b3, knight a5 to target this b7 pawn. But currently that square is blocked by his king. So it will be a long, dangerous journey for the knight. He goes g4, I guess my bishop doesn't have a whole lot to do in this structure, so I should get rid of it and trade it for Bojack Horseman on f3. Because now my remaining pieces at least find some work. Knight d7, they can prepare e5. And if you manage to go e5 without bad things happening along the way, life is normally okay here. <clears throat> Mousy line. I see on Twitter, Olympio Urzan is tweeting, I just lost a E4 Knight C6 blitz game to Jorn van for Raced. Wow, he didn't tag at Jordan V for Raced. That's, that's a hate crime in my book. Whenever you mention Jorn van for Raced, you should refer to him, especially on Twitter, as at Jordan V for Raced. And for most of the game, he talked about the best coffee shops in Amsterdam and weed. Well, we all try to talk about topics we are experts in. <clears throat> My only consolation is remark when he forced a queen exchange. Sometimes you have to play like a coward to win. Tell me about it. Mousy line is not playing like a coward, but forcing the action here with b5, which I thought I'd just stop by moving my rook away. The point is a b rook a7, which is unpleasant. So I'll go c b instead and ask Mousy line, is this invasion worth a whole rook to you? All right, let's force the action. Mousy line playing very well, by the way. 
as usual, I was led astray by mousy lines. <clears throat> Pedestrian rating, but playing a great game. I will win on time, don't worry, but as if anybody's worried. Oh no, I'm so worried. Jan might lose this game. Um, but just want to mention that he or she is playing very well. I will intensely study the position before making any move, literally. Knight d3, knight c4, rook d8. So many options. I'll go here just so, since I mentally blundered bishop d6 in like five lines already, just to stop me from doing that in the future. And now it's time to jump. Any threats here? Or can I take? I can take, I guess. No. Ninety seven King H eight, and I didn't see anything too troubling. Well, Rook D2, I can just go back with tempo. Now the line resigns, which he has a bit early, even though, of course, taking the clock situation into account, things did look pretty tough. Who else is there? Eric Nilsson. Mr. Nilsson. I read about him. A lot about Mr. No, I think it's Mr. Yeah, about Mr. Nielsen recently in my Doris Pippi Longstockings book. It's an educational book. I haven't read it for a while, like 35 years probably. But it's, it's fairly decent stuff. Even though, as usual, I get upset the minute anybody plays the London system. It just completely ruins my day. Now the London system. Why? Why exactly? Be more constructive with your opening. Why? Hmm. I should talk about coffee shops in Amsterdam. Whenever anybody plays the London system. Problem is I've never been to any. I remember when a grandmaster that shall remain nameless went to Amsterdam and he pursued some mushrooms legally or illegally I do not know and then he called me from I think his hotel room and said and asked I was in Hamburg at the time if I could come rescue him because the door was closing in on him, it was coming closer and closer and he was gonna get crushed by it. So I, I told him, nah, don't worry, like the door will stop when it's one centimeter in front of your face, so it's all gonna be good. But yeah, that's my only <clears throat> coffee shop adjacent experience. Wow, I'm continuing Jordan's storytelling prowess here. Knight g5, don't check me at me, Mr. Nielsen. Maybe it's time to start talking about the game, because even though it started as the most boring opening known to man, it has spiced up considerably. He wants to take, I don't want him to take. So I should avoid being taken. Listen to me very carefully, d5 pawn. You will not be taken. Knight e4, cunning. I don't want him to take my bishop either. Bishop c7 feels a little clumsy. I'll still do it. I just like bishops too much. But my position is crumbling here. Bishop g5. Or rook d1 actually. Yeah, getting crushed. Time to develop some pieces. Hmm. With a heavy heart. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's just really bad. 
really, really bad. How can I hang in there? Danger! Okay, I guess I should give up the B7 pawn at this point. He's collateral damage to my inability to defend Mr. D5. So you can have him, even though you know how I feel about my pawns being taken. Makes me very sad. Queen takes. Mm. Looks like he can get away with that too. Also played very quickly. So confident. Eric Nielsen just taking my pawns. <coughs> I have to throw some spanner into the works somehow. There's a lot of sums in that sentence. Two, to be exact. Ninety seven. If you blitz out ninety seven, I'll be very scared. Oof, another tough game. Rook t5? Get it. I'll take and think. <clears> hmm, <throat> Eric Nielsen hallucinated with rook d5. Maybe he forgot my bishop was still lurking on g8. I don't know. Played very well, except for the opening. But then rook d5 gave all the hard work. Way. Sorry, Mr. Nilsson. <clears throat> and Mr. Arques. Arques. <clears throat> Guess so. Where's my my nap hat? I'm playing random crap because I can't take it. I just can't take it. Too many Londons. Life is too short. You've managed, I guess. I'm now officially on tilt. I can only see my first five ranks, so everything that happens on this side of the board, I just hope to get lucky.
trying to pull all my pieces on the A file. But I need to castle first in order to prepare rook a8. Mm. I'll get there. As for my position, I know it looks ridiculous, but it's actually not that bad, believe it or not. You probably don't believe it. I don't either. But I'm very confident. Hmm. That Ach guess will not be able to handle the A file attack. Isaiah saying the cap is getting in the way of my viewing experience. Don't hate the cap. Hate the London. The cap comes off as soon as we are done playing London systems. It's as simple as that. Rook b4. He's already trying to bail out of it. It's actually not a bad move. I'm a bit upset to see this rook b4 move. You know what? I don't want it. I like my A file construction. If you want to do damage to it, you're gonna have to do it yourself. I'm not giving you that bishop. And no, that move doesn't make any sense. But, gotta be principled. Can't be pushed around by the ach guest bullies of the world. I still can't see his first three ranks. So I just hope that my bishop on a3 is still alive and kicking. Take your time, my dear friend. My intentions are very simple. I want to go e5, put this miserable bishop on g3, then still trying to buy his way out. So desperate. Um, Alright, do I have to think now? Oh, come on. It's very upsetting. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I still don't want any uh, rook a8 is rook b8 check. I might have to take it. That's upsetting too. Hmm, what can you do? Finally, I met my pawn made it to e5. That only leaves steps 10 to 15 of my plan. Go knight c4 check, move this bishop somewhere, take the a2 pawn, flag. Those are the next steps. Here's one. Mm. Two. Three is still in the making. We might get to four before we get to three. No, here's three. Now we come to the flag part. All right. Hmm. F4, that's a surprise. Quel surprise. Back. 
Nope. And step four has been implemented. Thanks for the game, ach guess. Mm. Well, our journey continues against Norman Trapp. Mm. D4. I'm, I can't, I can't bear with the thought of having this bishop reappear here. And it's very hard to stop on the first move without losing a pawn. So I don't know what to do. I'll prepare for it mentally and try to kick it as soon as it gets there. I know what you want, Norman. Oh, that's great news. Hmm. What is this position? I don't know. Random, symmetrical, boring stuff, I guess. It's not a London, so I'm not going to complain, but it's also pretty boring. Let's face it, Norman. <clears throat> Ish don't think so. He's playing well too. Why is everybody playing well? At some point, we have to stop this. Maybe pull a Thanos and get rid of half the players, the half that's playing well. Because it's affecting my Banter Blitz experience. Bishop G5, maybe I've talked to, maybe my complaints were hurt. Because it's a risky move to play when there's my, my pawns on H6 already. So sorry, Norman, I guess you had some sort of hallucination there. Because now the peace balance is no longer in your favor. And I think I talked this blunder into existence. So I'm proud of myself. It's not my specialty to be a peace up. I do better with extra rooks generally, but it's still a situation I would generally prefer over not being a piece up. Give me that. Hmm. Norman Trap still fighting, but he does have this lack of pieces problem. I'd like to set a trap for old Norman here. Maybe bishop d5 threatening knight h3 check, but I couldn't do it immediately because then knight e7 check. It's a bit of a problem. So I'm gonna have to prepare my trapping. But he escapes my devious trap by resigning. Thanks for the game, Norman Trap. Wow, we have a feeder master. Maestro Fide in the building. This is a title that is assigned to you by the World Wrestling Federation, the Fide. 
And you can only get it once, not twice. You can't be two feeder masters. Do I play this bishop e3 nonsense again? Nah, let's play something even worse. This will take Janusz off guard. Because who in their right mind will play d takes e5 here? No one, that's right. It's not a very good move. I played it quite a bit in my childhood when I was like, in my youth, let's say, when I was 15, 16. But a d e5, bishop g5. Of course it's equal, but black has to make some moves. Knight takes e5 is acceptable, but now at least it's a structure that most King's Indian players, I can't speak for Janusz here, aren't that comfortable with. And sometimes somewhat unpleasant for black sometimes objectively i guess he's okay 97 95 and whatnot but it's not so easy to play <clears throat> do it for the structure note to self don't blunder any queen f6 nonsense okay thanks jan won't do Rook e8, I guess. Before any of the queen f6 nonsense blunders hit me, I should get out of this diagonal. Ninety five, I'll go bishop e2. It's not exactly the end of the world. I've never been a feeder master, but. It's never too late. Once they take my GM title away for unethical behavior or lack of making sense, then I can still try to become one. I would not rule it out. I have been an international master, like Heman. What you want, Janusz? You want to play f5? That's weakening your king. Doesn't want to do it. I'm very patient. You do your thing. I'll play some nonsense as we proceed. Hmm. In other words, I don't have a clue what to do. a4, so aggressive. What have I done to deserve this level of aggression thrown at me? Je ne sais pas. Don't take my pawns, sir. I value my pawns. My pawns are my children. Don't take my pawns, sir. Should have played e5, especially e2 was a little passive, but that's how I like it. Hmm. Ah, baby, baby. What other passive moves could I make? This one. I'm running out of passive moves here. Do I have to play an active move eventually? Nah. Not gonna be able to do it. How close are we to Flagville? I still have two minutes. It's gonna take a while. I'm still gonna pretend to be playing chess for a bit. Not that much longer. Might be eight. Has active move time come? Nah. Needling. Ooh. Do you want to play f6 or would you rather not? All right, let's go back. Hmm, Ponzi? Rook a8 though. Full disclosure, I won knight d5 when I just had a good position. Um, but it does hurt my soul to not take that pawn. If there is such a thing, then it wanted to grab the pawn, that's for sure. 
<clears throat> back, back and forth. Let's keep going back for a bit. There you go. Home sweet home. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Pretending it's all under control, obviously it's not. But I finally took a pawn and he finally made an active move. So I guess we're both happy. And as long as everybody's happy, my work here is done. <laughs> Why did I miss rook d6? I was wondering, should I start with bishop c4 or with d6? Then I thought, nah, let's start with bishop c4. But of course, rook d6 did not really enter my scope of vision, which is sort of upsetting, because now my position went from sort of winning to sort of worse, which is not ideal. Of course I win on time, but it's still not ideal. Winning might be strong, but I think after d6 yeah, I should be winning actually. <clears throat> so that's upsetting. Played such a nice game. And then this happened. King h8. <clears throat> you know what? If you go king h8, I'll go king h1. You say goodbye. And I say hello. Goodbye, hello. Should I try to trap my own queen? Yeah. Can I trap it? Yes, I can. He wants to develop his knight, which I consider maybe not cheating, but sort of unfair at the very least. So I will do what I can. To stop this knight from seeing any daylight, even if it means completely ruining my position. <clears throat> Time is ticking away. You gotta live your life day by day. I have been called the songbird of my generation, so if you're impressed, I'm not surprised. And Janusz does resign because the relentless flagging pressure finally got to him. Thanks for the game, Mr. Janusz. I can see there's some... is it inquiries or inquiries? I'm always confused about that. But some questions, let's go with simple words. Some questions about the schedule today. The schedule today is... Uh, let me look it up. 2 p.m. till 6 p.m. Luke VW. I don't know who that could be. Then it's 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. Laurent Le Francais. Then 10 p.m. till 4 a.m. The friendly shift goes to Jordan V for raised. Then 4 a.m. till 10 a.m. It's Luke. And the schedule is like that, first of all because I'm very lazy, but also because I have to pick up my daughter at 3 p.m. in the kindergarten, and then deliver her the next morning at 9 p.m. So I'm gonna have to sit out a bit. So it's um, Luke from 4 a.m. till 10 a.m. That's a nice fun shift there. And then it's Jan from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Then Laurent, 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. Then 8 p.m. till midnight, Jordan. Then midnight till 4 a.m., Luke. Then 4 a.m. till 8 a.m., Jan and Laurent. And then the finale grande. Everybody's here. Sergei Rachmaninov plays c4. I don't know what to do. c6, I guess. Mm. <clears throat> Sergei Rachmaninov says hi. Hi, Sergei. How are you doing today? D3, very deep. Does cover the pawn. Uh, 
So Doji is asking, never mind all that, when is the quiz? What else do you want, Mr. Doji? You have a Swiddler mug, you have a Carlson mug. I'm not sure we're giving out any Jordan C4 race mugs. We might though. The Banter quiz. How many games did Laurent win in a row? Is that true? Did he win 66 games in a row? I might just have spoiled the answer, just like I spoiled the semi-final match in the movie Bloodsport earlier. E4? You're doing some shady positional things here, Sergei. Because, I'm not sure you've been informed of this, but pawns never go back. And now you have this eternal hole, which some of us dream of. But in this case, I don't think it's great to have this eternal hole on the, what's the square called? D4 square. We should get some Jordan cans, I agree with that. <clears throat> I'll work on it. Also, my bragging about my position earlier might have been a little premature and immature. Because now I don't like it that much anymore. I have to bring the horsey to e6. I could go bishop g4, well, I'm not sure. I could probably go knight f6 back, but then bishop c5, and you know, things could escalate quickly. I changed my mind, I'll go here. Now I want one of your pawns. That's frankly the reason why I changed my mind. I saw sweet pawn food. Mr. Dodgy is saying, I have a Mr. Dodgy mug, but my wife is quite stupid and it says my Dodgy. That which raises many questions. First of all, is it wise to call your wife stupid in public in front of dozens of people? Secondly, did you get that mug as a gift or did you want it yourself? But you were too lazy to do it, so you told your wife, can you please make me a Mr. Dodgy mug? And now you're blaming her for screwing up your precious mug with your own name on it. Which one is it? Why do you want to exchange queens, by the way, Sergei? I'm a pawn up. I don't want to exchange queens. Those kinds of squares, I just don't care. I want to represent the USA. Like Wesley. <clears throat> Prediction. I will grab that pawn very soon. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No? I want it. Can't have it? Must have it. Gimme that pawn, please. Please, please. I will do everything in my power, which admittedly is not a lot, to get that A3 pawn. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Far too kind. You know how I feel about bones. I'm a man of simple pleasures. Pawns and pawn. I think at this point, nah, I was gonna go queen b3, but that's a sad move to make.
Rook c5. Thought the horsey was gonna come here at least. <clears throat> Once again, you know how I feel about my pawns. Rook c2, I can take it. I was gonna go knight b3 to fork these rooks up. But if you just give me one, I don't need to do any forking. Which frankly, nowadays I often prefer not having to do any forking. As you get older. Mm, okay, rook a6 was a bit of a silly move, I'll admit. Sometimes you have to admit I was wrong and go back. I don't like the idea of giving him one of my precious pawns, though. I really don't. Okay. I don't wanna. Okay, take it. I'm very upset. It's my pawns. Hmm. See, I'm steaming so much. I'm blundering lots and lots of material now that this pawn has disappeared. Okay, time to refocus. The good news is even after I blundered like a pawn and an exchange, I think I'm still two pawns up. But still, it hurt me. It hurt me to see that pawn go. H5, worst move in the position. No problem for Jan. Draw offer, yeah, that's very tempting. Surprise, he takes that pawn, but I'll take it. Another draw offer. Still very tempting. Thank you for your kindness, Sergei. Mm. I should try not to get checkmated. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, that was a good game. Thanks for the game, Mr. Sergei Rachmaninoff. Oh, and our French friend Kimate has arrived. He probably was hoping his challenge wouldn't get picked up until when does law start? Staring at the schedule. Um, 6 p.m. But here we are, Kimat. <clears throat> Kimat is asking, Mr. Dodge is still around? Of course he is. <clears throat> and Mr. Dodge is rightly slightly criticizing my tone in that last game. I should have said. Thank you for your draw for Sergei, but I would like to continue the game if you don't mind. I think I'll say that. If you don't mind too much, I'll say that every time we get a draw for from now on. Which makes offering me a draw a pretty good strategy, because it will make me lose like five seconds. What's this line? Is this theory? Looks like some weirdo theory. I guess I take now. Strange position, but he has a pawn on f5, so I have to be better. That's normally how I feel about things. If black is a pawn on f5, I'm better. Hmm. 
Do I take this or do I go bishop g2? I guess I take. Even though he has long castles, so maybe it was wiser to start with bishop takes g2. Yeah, I sort of underestimated these long castles move. Still like my position somewhat better, but it might not be very much. Bishop c6, another brazen decision by Kimat. I'd like to take, even though, once again, his position looks worse than it is after takes, I think. So I'll ignore. This is a bad move. Do I still make it though? Nah, it's too bad. I have to take. Jan said. Very sad. Kimat playing a good game. He's outplaying me strategically thus far. I don't think I'm worse or anything, but I do feel like I'm getting outplayed. I'm very curious about Bot81's comment. He says, Yo Jan espera mucho, which means I Jan wait long. The thing is, grammatically correct would be Yo Jan espero mucho, or espere mucho, but not espera mucho. So I'm wondering, either he's trying to dumb it down for me in Spanish so that I can understand it, or he's First language is not Spanish. He doesn't speak English. Maybe his first language is, let's say, Russian. But he thought correctly. Jan, this idiot, does not understand any Russian. So I will ask in my second language, which is Spanish. Which one is it, Bot81? The people have a right to know. As for the game, yeah, I'm not better at all here against key maps. These pawns might look silly, but they're very hard to attack. So there's not really much going on. All I can do is continue to make silly moves and hope that eventually he's gonna crack under the pressure. Here, for example, this is a good way to start cracking. Give me some pawns. Okay, pawn is in the books, so what's the next order of business? Centralize the king or something? What do these endgame people do in such situations? I guess it's bring the king and all that boring stuff here. Yeah? Hmm. What else would they do? Build a pass pawn? Would that be on the to-do list? I don't know. Hmm. I genuinely don't know. I'll do some business here. Have him build a... Let him do the passport building. It's too tough for me. Why don't you do it? As usual, exemplary end gameplay. If Luke van Veli was still alive, he would be shaking his head now. As it is. He's probably turning in his bed as he has to endure this. There's a eight percent chance he's not watching. I don't know what to do. 
<clears throat> a tree maybe? Is that a good move? Could be a very bad move too. Yeah, it's probably not a great move. Mm -hmm. I always struggle greatly against Kimat. Maybe just keep staring at the position until my time ran out. That's an option. Zug's fine. See, he's, he has the same plan to stare at the position until the time run out. Mm, now do I have to calculate again? CB or AB? CB gives him two pass pawns, but me too. I'll go AB because I'm lazy. Hmm. Back to square one. That's a check. Oh, I have to speed up too. Wow. Time flies when you're staring at horses. Okay, speed up mode activated. Maybe he didn't get the memo. A3 is a bit much, no? What was A3? We were playing such an exciting game. And then you threw it all away, Kimat. Sorry. That was a good game, though. Thanks for it. It's time to defeat Schachschatten. Mr. Schachschatten, are you there? Mr. Schatten. What's this line again? It's bad for black, but that's all I can ever remember about it. <clears throat> How did this go? I just castle? Je ne sais pas. Don't bother me with your horsey chumps, please. Not in the mood. Now that you can't jump no more, the time has come to advance the epoch. Mm, shut and I want to make you sweat. Nope. No G3 square for Sad Knight on the Rim. Ah, and I confused Kimat by not singing. Sorry. I brought it back now. Ah, the knight is still alive. Time to move all my pieces back. That's why they call it long castles. It takes forever to get the king into safety. You gotta go king b1, bishop c1, all this boring stuff. Hmm. 
Bishop f2 would be a bit painful. I might have to go back, but I don't want to. A6 is sort of asking for f5 now. Ask and you shall be given. How does it go? Knight takes e5, queen c3. Knight take e5, maybe just takes. No, knight f4 is not the way. That much we know. Sorry, Schachschatten. You forgot the Schatten of my bishop on c1. And next in line is Papaya Pup. Come mit nach Papaya. Papaya, Papaya. Oh, I was very close to jumping out of this window had he played Bishop F4. But he didn't. G3 will still throw me into deep misery, but it wouldn't be as bad as Bishop as bishop f4. Pin it. I'm in it to pin it. What do they do here? They go here and now the books give some wise ideas like cd followed by b6. It's a bit hard to play for a win though. So what can I do instead? Nah, I'll just do it anyway. Maybe this move. I just want to keep it weird. B6 is too theoretical. Mm. Hashtag keep Austin weird. Don't checkmate me, sir. Papaya pup. Have mercy. Alright, how about you get some pieces out, I get some pieces out, and then we have a look around. Mm. <coughs> knight e5, rook c8, should knight f7 scare me? Maybe it should, but it doesn't. It probably shouldn't. What should scare me is some bishop b3, knight c4, knight e7, bishop e7, bishop b4. But it looks like my position is fairly resilient as of now. Bishop b5 maybe should scare me. He wants to prepare bishop b5. That bothers me. There's nothing I can do about it. Rook e8 sort of makes bishop b5 only stronger. So I guess I might have to take this with a heavy heart, but before my queen gets tarped after bishop b5, should take some action. What's up, chat? Hello, we have the usual beauty of doing these 72 hour bantathons in order to get to play as many games against y'all as possible. That, of course, everybody's complaining about getting not enough games. We should just have a constant banter stream going non stop because 
it's just unfair if people only get one, two, three games. They have to wait forever. I hear you. We're trying. <clears throat> Rook c2. Can I go bishop e4? Takes, takes. Looks decent, no? Tactics. Blobix is saying, Jan is playing 2000 till 2600 mainly. He wants his rating up. Now, I do my usual thing that I mainly try to play games against guys that haven't had a game yet. I'm not looking at the ratings really. Um, time to go back. Kimat says, oh yeah, a constant bantathon. Just a dream for happy no lives. I hope that will happen sometimes. Yeah, chest 24. Might have to continue growing a little bit till we can afford that. But it is a beautiful dream. Constant banter. I miss bishop a6. I still like what I did earlier. But maybe I should have chosen a square that does not allow bishop a6. No, am I even winning material? Man, it's heartbreaking if I'm not material up after all this hard work. But I can't really see it. Knight c5, dc doesn't quite work. So no. I went to e4 and all I got for it was this lousy knight versus bishop. That's a t-shirt. This is the saddest I've been since... I don't want to spoil it, but since the final match in the Kumite between Chong Li and Frank Dux. <clears throat> All right, time to speed up a bit at least. Do I want this structure? I'm not really sure. I think I just want to wait. Hmm. Papaya Pup also speeding up. Let's both speed up. Let's speed up. That should bring us closer. Don't I look like a Halle Berry poster? I have a plan, just so you know. It's knight d6 followed by knight takes c4. That's my plan. Ah, you want to prepare for my plan by meeting knight d6 with d5. That's cunning. I don't want that to happen. So I'll go back to making random moves. And now it's confusing. You want to go d5, but now I made a random move. So you have to make up your mind again. a5, no a5. Make a random move yourself. Who's outrandoming him, out whom here? We will never know. Back to plan one. d5? Can you do that? Or is the pawn going to be weak on d5? Maybe too risky. Maybe a5, but then knight f5, ugh, and d4 is weak. It's a grind. These hanging pawns, there's so much to think about. And the clock is ticking relentlessly. Maybe just c5. Simplify. Nah, c5, knight f5, also not great. Can't play g4 to stop knight f5. Just such a tough game. Hmm. <laughs> All right, phase one is finished. Phase two is put the knight on d5, waste everybody's time, and then somehow win. But it has to be implemented with precision. <clears throat> See, queen c7 check. Precise, because now after queen e8, king h7. Pawn is not hanging h5, not precise, but fast. King h7, very fast. Threatening check. Uh-oh. Mm, all right, I don't really want to move any of my pawns. 
I want to take some of his pawns though. How do you feel about an honest trade? A pawn for H pawn. Quid pro quo, Clarice. A5. Finally, some action. Don't try to flag a flagger, Papaya Pop. Well, that was a tough fight. Good game by Papaya Pop. <sighs> My heart rate went all the way up to A4. Let's play more Jules de Chec, maybe. What about our friend? <laughs> Benjamin Glock. D4. That's a good move. I'm so paranoid about getting one more bishop f4, which I wouldn't be able to handle, that I will always try to be ready to meet bishop f4 with d6 e5. I understand d4 e5 stops it, but I respect the game of chess too much to play d4 e5. Can't do it. So Dodger is saying, well, chess claiming Anish only made 25k euros last year. Yeah, those numbers, I wouldn't read too much into them. Queen d3, that's a weird move. Just play knight c3, you don't need your queen to defend the e4 pawn. When a horsey can do the job, don't have a queen do it. How do I do this? Hmm, knight f4 is a bit tempting. Just takes is probably the most clinical way to play it. Now put the horse here. Not sure. Knight d2, can you do that? Hmm. Guess you can do that. At least I can't see why not. Benjamin Glock hanging in there. Very upsetting. Queen f3 only move. That shouldn't take you so long, Benjamin. It tilts me that it takes you that long just to play queen f3. It's a great source of pain for me that you haven't played queen f3 yet. Please play queen f3. 
It's not that hard. The queen is under attack, has to stay in contact with his knight. There you go. <clears throat> Can I go f5? That's the interesting question. The answer to that very interesting question is no, unfortunately. But I still like to. You make me wanna. Doesn't work at all, unfortunately. But I really want to. Nah. Can't always get what you want. I got to h6 so I can play f5. Which looks like a sensible enough decision on my part. Kimata is saying comp spotted. No, no, no. Benjamin Glock is not a comp at all. He just took too long to play queen f3, so I yelled at him, make up your mind. But no, 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 let's not make any false accusations, because this, yeah, it's just a very normal game. Okay, just so you don't get the wrong idea here, Benjamin. Let's close this side. You know b6 is sort of slow, I should probably have played rook f3 or some half active move. Yeah, I should have played rook f3, that was a bit silly. But what's done is done. Very tight, knight d4. Not a bad move, actually. Yeah, not playing rook f3 was a bit upsetting. <clears throat> Benjamin Glock hanging in there. Hanging around. Hey, yeah, please stop reading out the numbers, how much, who made from that report. None of this is real. It might, might be giving people the wrong idea. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna manage to trap my own knight eventually. It's already dangerously short on squares. Great game by Benjamin Glock. After he loses on time, he will think, okay, I lost on time, but I put up a really good fight and he'll be right. Enough is enough.
Here we are. Good game by Benjamin Glock. Mr. <laughs> Dodgy says <clears throat> Radek seems to have been scammed for his of his 40k for winning Isle of Man. Yeah, also seems like none of his teams are paying him anything. Yeah, it's <clears throat> poor Radek. I'll talk to him. This is unacceptable. Also, just a food for thought. <clears throat> the price, the first prize in Vikanze is more symbolic than anything. I think it's bad marketing for them because, like, the first prize is what, 10k? And people think that's the sort of money the best players in the world are fighting there for over a week. So I think they should get rid of it altogether. But the top players actually, they might get paid for showing up there. <laughs> um, who shall I play next? What about Lion 7-7? Seven, seven? Seven. Paige is saying, also I don't see Jan's name on the list. So I guess his total revenue last year was zero euros. I'm dreaming of breaking even a year. Zero euros does sound like breaking even. But yeah, uh, that sounds about right. <laughs> Mr. Dodge is saying Lawrence is rubbing his hands together. He could get all of these guys way more money. Yeah, he can invest it into <laughs> some cyber currencies for them maybe. A lot of guys making zero euros last year. Times are tough. I have a family. I have a mortgage. Can't keep up the zero euro making lifestyle forever. <clears throat> Playing against Lion 777 here. He says, greet you, Jan. Greet you, Lion777. From Bulgaria. He says, I hope you endure 72 hours. I hope I don't have to. The great news is I have many co-conspirators. Some very strong chess players among them. Like Laurent Fressinet. Bishop d7, bishop e7. Looks a little passive. Let me check my various chat groups if anybody's awake. I guess not. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see what poor, literally, Anish Giri has to say. He's wondering if Bantathon is the sole purpose of Jordan's visit. It's Bantathon and Rapobon. <laughs> can't read that up. That's great content, laughing at stuff on my phone, I can't say. All right, Knight C6 here has been played. I should note to self, don't blunder your queen with some, let's say, rook c8, bishop d3, knight a5. That'd be unpleasant. Thanks for the note, Jan. Now I can go here, right? I'm still worried about blundering my queen to some knight a5. Note to self, don't blunder your queen after queen e7, knight a5. Thanks, Jan. Hmm. Hmm. 
Alright, h5. That doesn't win my queen though, so it scares me less. Note to self, don't blunder your queen after bishop g7, bishop e7, bishop somewhere, knight a5. Ugh, this theme keeps coming back. I really need to make my make a square for my queen, this is making me too nervous. Now I feel better. Now my queen has a square on a2. I can start setting up my usual shenanigans against h7. Life improved greatly. Okay, I lied about the a2 square. I want to go here all along. Sorry for the lying, the deceiving. Scheming. Haha, <laughs> shock value. Think we need a body count when this is all over, and I have a feeling I'll be ahead. Took one of his guys, I might take more on ch or b6. And not too many of my brave foot soldiers have disappeared. My toy soldier. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe Lion77 has not yet realized that he's entered one of my greatest strengths, which is a rook up situation. So I will exchange some pieces to make it clear that we have actually entered a rook up situation on the board. And I think once he realizes that he is playing on my home court with two rooks versus one, with me having the two rooks, he will think, okay, this is now hopeless. And call it a day. See? Nope, not yet. Hmm. Very important to cut him off from my h pawn. And Lion77 does resign now that his king can't get to the h pawn anymore. Thanks for the game, Lion77. 777. Hmm. More chess to be played? The good old drunken knight. He's asking for a lesson in his muck. The very soft. The very soft I dislike less than the London. Because it's better. It's, it's better. It's more worse. Mm, I speak great Englishly.
Hmm. I don't really know theory here, but I always like Black's position. Because you have the bishops and the center. So if you can avoid getting checkmated in the near future, Black should be in excellent shape. Hmm. But how to avoid the checkmate fate? Zimli is asking, what is your ELO goal, Jan? 3200 or 3300? I don't know. I thought 3000 was huge already. But now that we're at 3112 and we have the big guns coming in, I think 3200 is up for grabs. <clears throat> I'm a bit scared of knight takes d5, but not scared enough. Jan scared, can't talk. BC or Bishop C? Ich weiß nicht. Maybe BC. Nah, probably Bishop C was better. Hard to say. Chess be complicated. Pompusha saying, hi Jan, how it going? Going well. Little hungry and sleepy. Not because I haven't slept enough, because I'm still sleepy. I'm still in the waking up morning period. But other than that, can't complain too much. I d2, can I take? I want to take some of his things. Give me some of your things. Gimme, gimme, gimme. He probably wanted rook a3, but queen b2 would be unpleasant. So rook b3... is better. I might need this rook eventually. Note to self, don't trap your own queen on a1. Thanks, Jan. Won't do it. Wow, queen c2, was that even legal? I did not see that coming at all. Nice move, though. They say those are the hardest moves to spot, like these long diagonal retreats. And yeah, wasn't on my radar. At all. Shocking. Oh no. Okay, let's confuse the issue. But he has queen c5 check followed by queen takes a3. I'm not sure how much that would confuse him. Yeah, that's upsetting. <laughs> King e8, horrible move. Queen c2 put me completely on tilt. like the flash. Shouldn't be legal for a queen to cross that many squares in just one move, if you ask me. No, I'm just lost, yeah? I also honestly have zero explication for my move. Queen, king to e8. I want rook b4 here, but then rook a3 sort of undermines the note to self I wrote earlier about not blundering my queen. So yeah, this has escalated quickly. And now I'm gonna have to fight for survival against Drunken Knight, which will be tough, because I'm totally lost after, let's say, rook a3. But I shall fight.
Mm. Fighting mode activated. Mm. Gladiators ready. Just a man and his will to survive. It's not his will to sing well, that much we know. But I do want to survive. I just want to live, drunken knight. Okay, take this. What do you want then? You want to exchange? Rooks, yeah? I don't really want to exchange rooks. Mm, nope. Not gonna be able to do it. Let's go back. I guess you're happy with the draw. I'm not. So we'll mess around a little. As long as all this messing around costs you more time than it costs me. It's all good. Mm. So good, baby, baby. My position is getting loster by the minute. And yes, loster is absolutely correct English. But the clock is also getting lower. So it's, you know, it's a bit of a compromise in return for my position getting worse. The flagging is coming closer. Come a little bit closer to me. Because mm -hmm. tonight is the night when to become one. I used to work as a one man Spice Girl impersonator. Uh oh! Out of nowhere, disaster strikes, Drunken Knight. Sorry, Drunken Knight, you play a great game. I did not. But, you know the drill. Thanks for the game. Let's play Paolo A. Paolo A. In his first Bantathon appearance. From Rome, Italy, it's Paolo Ancelotti. Hmm. At 185 points, a feeder rating of 1782, qualified to put his bishop on b3 at any given chance. Paolo is a dangerous opponent. For anybody out there, he deserves to be treated with respect and not with some early h5 knight g4 shenanigans. And if you push him too hard, he will sting like a butterfly and fly like a bee. So there is a lot of danger for the Grandmaster in this game, who frankly has been treating lower rated players with such arrogance and ignorance of the game that he is due for losing one of these games sooner rather than later. And I personally do believe that Paolo A could be the one that unleashes fire and fury on this chessboard while sacrificing many a piece than just giving checkmate on the E8 square. So far, the Grandmaster is still very lucky. The queen takes D4 can be met by bishop C5 and rook A1, bishop C5. There's also no check looming, but Paolo is going back into his mental palace. He's tanking, coming up with rook ad1. The grandmaster <laughs> idiot that he is does not play knight takes b3, but instead bishop c5 immediately. And that means that the white attack is still in full swing. Paolo correctly vacates the h and g1 a7 diagonal 
by putting his king to the side and now is looking for fresh hunting grounds by playing queen to g3 clearly intending to deliver the coup de grace the final blow from the g5 square the grandmaster is still not paying any attention to the game so that means that paolo's victory is still very much in the cards he does have to overcome the two bishop deficit by does so by opening the c file for yet another lethal attack with the rooks and i for one still like his chances here rook to e1 played king c7 stepping into the lion's den the dragon's mouth the <coughs> silence of the lamps and the grandmaster still without any attention to detail just arrogantly runs his king up the board thinking i'm a grandmaster i have two extra bishops i'll get this job done but instead of delivering the final blow paolo out of nowhere loses trust in his position in his abilities in everything he's worked for since the age of four when his parents sent him out to live in the woods in the fun for race to study nothing but chess and resigns completely pointlessly after the move bishop takes c5 lucky escape for the grandmaster and we are off to our regular programming all right thanks for the game paolo a who shall we play next <clears throat> what about vasbistu d4 knight to f6 <sighs> you guys are trying to break me with this right this is just a scheme <clears throat> this bishop makes me tilt so much i have no idea i understand that white now has a decent position but i'm still steaming Was bist du, Junge? No bravery in my eyes anymore, only sadness. Hmm. How do I stop his plan of check checkmate, Fisher style? Can't be hard to stop. Don't like this very much. T five looks like a pretty horrible move. but everything to break up the check checkmate pattern that we all know so well hmm. queenie one very deep more pattern recognition but doesn't look like a good move he knows that in the dragon in a somewhat similar position this is a move but here it looks wrong wrong Was bist du? Knight a4 also looks wrong. Knight on the rim. Dim, dim, dim. Was bist du? Turned his very promising position into a very unpromising position with this queenie one flawed pattern recognition is this fatal half knowledge thing where you've seen some move in some different position but you think it might work here as well and then it doesn't 
Hmm, how do I win? B5 doesn't win yet. That's sad. Maybe I'm not winning yet. Very surprising. Hmm. Nope. It's not winning yet. We've officially established. I got too excited. Note to self. Don't get too excited, Jan. It's not all fun and games. Or funny games. There's still a job to be done here. C6 is a very random move. Often when I think bad things happen. I hope the same is true. For was bist du? Time to find some new hunting grounds. I pretend I want to play b5, but what I really want is give a check. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Um, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Calculating Jan. Not one of the stronger yams, but sometimes he has to make an appearance. And this was the fruit of his mental labor. Sorry, was bist du? Keep getting fresh meat delivered right to my doorstep here. Danny, Dan VSG? What does VSG stand for? Very solid game. Van Scheveningen. I don't know what to do. C4, I'm already happy that it's no London system. I still don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait for you? No, I can't go back. Oh, this is a risky pre move. H4? Is that how you do it? Is this how you play in France? Not sure this bishop should go here or be more humble and go to e7. But I don't feel that humble. Maybe bishop b4 was the best of both worlds. Page is saying it stands for Vorden Sen Goraced. That is very possible. At a4. Ask and you shall be given. The thing is bishop b4 is just winning a pawn, so boring Jan very much wants to go bishop b4 check. You know, this is a bit tempting, but no, boring Jan prevailed. Sorry chess fans, no excitement today. Hmm. And now for something completely different. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I can't get enough of your pawns. I really can't sing. This was not part of the plan, in case you're wondering. Even though it might be okay, but it was not really.
play the parade parade. Uh, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna need d6. So this bishop can participate, even though it's a bit rude. For his colleague on whatever that square is called. <clears throat> Right now my main worry is not losing this bishop. If I manage to do that, I should still be doing fine. So maybe I have to get it out the way. Even though that allows white to consolidate, which is a bit sad. Maybe we'll mix strategies. Send some mis mixed messages to Dan VSG. That will confuse him. One to the left, one to the right. Oh, Danny boy. He's coming. He's coming. He's here. Have no fear. Let's set this out. Dan VSG says, rematch please, sir. Nah, sorry Dan, that's not really what we do in Bantathon. We try first to play everybody. We haven't played yet, and generally. Just click randomly. But we'll be here for still um, 48 hours. I'm great at math. So there is a fairly de very decent chance you'll get your rematch eventually. Mm. Probably waited for my answer to see if he was getting a rematch. If he should resign or not. He said, no rematch, then no resigns. That sounds fair. Um, also would have been a little early to call it quits, frankly. Check. I can't really see checkmate after queen takes a7, even though I have a feeling it should be there. But I can't see it. <clears throat> so I'll do it anyway and worry about it once we get there. I see it when we get there. When we ever get there. See it when we get there. Okay, my singing is getting annoying even to myself. So how do I do this rookie too? Yeah, probably that's the way. Draw offered by Dan VSG. Nah, I can't take that. Thanks for the game, Dan. Ch -ch 